our first hero calls himself a firefighter. A risky occupation under most circumstances, but when an oil well is burning in the Sahara Desert so intensely it's called the devil's cigarette lighter, you don't just call any firefighter. You call the one and only Red Adair. They've never had a fire like this before this big that we know of. One of Red Adair's most celebrated firefights erupted in 1963 when he battled the Sahara Desert to extinguish the devil's cigarette lighter. First, you take the location you're in the middle of the Sahara Desert, that you have to have living quarters, you have to have food, baths, showered equipment for the men. You know, when you are working, I stay there for seven months. So it's a regular city you move into. Red Adair's reputation for taking on a challenge is world-renowned. Based in Houston, Texas, the Red Adair Company has been containing oil well fires since 1959. With a staff of 18, only five of whom are firefighters, the company's global success points to its president. Okay, good deal. Is there a drilling rig on it? At 73, Paul Red Adair is considered the best in the business. I don't think we lost over one or two wells in our whole lifetime. We have saved millions and millions of barrels of oil and reservoirs and formations. Every job you do is, is, to me, it's a personal deal. And like my men, the same way. And uh, you want to get into it and get it over as quick as possible. Quick, however, is a seldom used word when the average oil well fire takes several months to contain. First thing you need when you're on a fire like in the Sahara is water. So we had to sit up and drill water wells. We dug big pits all about the side of a football field, or two football fields. We lined them with this cloth so it wouldn't seep through to the sand. We filled those full of water. With an ample water supply to be used as a protective curtain, Red's next task is to remove the molten oil rig that once towered above the well. Oh, we'd have sandstorms. Another thing in the desert you worry about is getting lost. And don't ever leave your vehicle, because after the sand blows over, all your tracks are covered. Nobody knows where you are. And there have been people caught out there where they had to drink the water out of the radiator of the car. It wasn't long before Red Adair's reputation made him somewhat of a hero in the oil industry. Having completed over 1,000 jobs internationally, it was only a matter of time before Hollywood saw Red. They contacted me, I think, about 1967. And Robert Arthur did, and about making this movie, first they didn't what to call it. And we worked with him from 67 through 68 to film it. The result was The Hell Fighters, a movie based on Red Adair's firefighting adventures. The film starred John Wayne, and it was Red's job as technical advisor to show Duke the ropes. We took him up to the fire. And just as I got him up to the fire, the wind chain blew up right over the top of us. So trying to get him down that hill was a pretty good job. And the fire going over us, so I told I'd Holland to get some help. And he said, hell no, you brought me up or you gonna get me down. It's his effective way of doing things that has led the world to trust Red Adair. His innovative firefighting equipment has become the industry standard, while his use of explosives to control oil well blowouts has made Red Adair the oil industry's favorite fire extinguisher. Oh, it can go off on you, you never know. And uh, it's not the glisten so much, it is the cap you put in there, the electric cap, those fulminated mercury cap. The charge is wrapped in asbestos as not to ignite the nitro prematurely. And if successful, the charge goes off, cutting off the oxygen supply to the fire. In the case of the devil's cigarette lighter, the shot was a success. And the next thing was to get up to well as quickly we could, get the dozer and all running equipment out so the gas wouldn't get on one of the engines and reignite the fire. With non-sparking brass tools, the men work quickly to cap the flow but it's Red's concern for safety that minimizes the risk. You know you've got a job to do, and you do it as careful, the best way you know how, and as safe as possible. That's the secret of all this work. And we have an awful good record. We never have lost a man, had oh, one broken leg, and that's the most safe we've ever had. And when you get back from L.A., you're supposed to meet with Neil Armstrong and do that PSA for the flight festival for the Houston mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. What's that, that on, the 21st? on the 21st? As the company's right. vice president, Red's daughter Robin has her own fires to put out. As director of public relations, keeping up with Red's world travels, lectures, and humanitarian efforts is no easy task. I think the world is definitely a greater place because of him. He really cares about natural resources, better ways for people, and, and he's had to deal with countries and uh, 
being a diplomat. The proof of the world's adoration for Red Adair lies on his office walls. Countless awards, gifts, and memorabilia hold special meaning to Red. But the enormous respect people have for Red starts with his staff. The employee turnover rate is practically non-existent, with the majority of his firefighters averaging over 20 years with the company. You're nice to him. You take good care of him. You, we have a good profit sharing organization that you save most of the money for him. The company does. We have a good medical system. We furnish new automobiles. We furnish all their clothes. We pay them pretty good. They're a good bunch of men. The Sahara's Devil's cigarette lighter is now contained. But somewhere in the world, an oil well fire is beginning, and a call is being placed to Red Adair. Well, I don't have any plans on retiring, because I think as long as you're useful to this world, you should be. And I feel like I've got a lot of miles left in me. The kind of stuff we've got, you don't get out of a book. You have to be there to participate, that you can pass it on to somebody else.